How's it going, New World? Sephir here, and we are back with some patch notes that were just announced on Twitter by Play New World. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at these and see what kind of goodies we got in store for us. As you can see here, this is the New World Update 1.0.2. So let's go ahead and scroll down. And it looks like we got some general greetings and things of that nature. Um, it looks like they're talking a bit more about server transfers and that they're still working on that. You can check that out on the forum announcement, so that's interesting to see. Uh, then we have some patch note segments here. It looks like a lot of bug fixes and some things about faction missions. So we'll go ahead and dive into the faction mission portion of this. So it says here that uh, we adjusted the rates of influence gain over time so that it will continue to require significant effort uh, over time to flip a territory into conflict state. Reduce the amount of influence increase over time significantly for attacking fractions, and then also this is to account for a bug that we found where the in case or the increase was multiplied much faster than intended over time, and they also removed the decrease in influence over time for defending factions. So those are some interesting statements there. I know there was that bug like they were talking about. Some people were able to flip territories into conflict instantly using that bug. And it was just spammed all over. That was just crazy to see. Uh, so glad that that's gone. Uh, so people can no longer auto-influence and uh, you know declare war. And it looks like they removed the decrease in influence over time for defending factions. So basically, you're going to see more wars happening because everything's going to be static uh, overall. So it won't require you to just constantly spam within a small window. It'll just be like a slow influence that you kind of build up. Which is fine. I like that. I like that, you know, wars are going to happen more naturally rather than just by one guild spamming missions for like an hour straight and hoping that they get the influence up there. Uh, so that's kind of cool to see. We also have some bug fixes. So this is going to be great because we do need a lot of these. Um, there still are some things that are sneaking up in the game that are causing some plague and some heartache on people. So let's take a look at these and see what we can get. So fixed an issue where players could respawn as a corpse. That's interesting. I haven't seen that one. That would be pretty terrifying, but uh, glad that one hasn't happened to me so far. Uh, also fixed an issue where tier three fishing chests would not fight back after being cooked. Okay, I haven't done that much fishing. I did a bit, but not too much. So I'm guessing that... Um, there was no like real in scheme or something like that so okay we fixed that that's very minor no big worries there uh fixed various localization issues and text fields so probably uh mistimed text and things of that nature uh fixed an issue causing players kicked suspended banned or removed from the game by easy anti-cheat to receive unclear communication additional messaging has been added so players can better understand the penalty they received Okay, I wonder if that's the, uh, there was like an auto-report system thing people were abusing and kicking people out. So I'm sure all those people would be punished that were abusing that system. And this looks like part of that, so the anti-cheat was kicking people out and stating like weird reasons and stuff like that. So, you know, moral of the story, don't cheat, don't abuse the system, don't gangbang report people and things like that. Uh, so just make sure you guys aren't, you know, kind of being bad with uh, things of that nature because Amazon is cracking heads, they're cracking skulls, and they are clamping down on people that are breaking TOS and just being bad spirited in general. So just avoid all that so that you don't uh, risk losing your account or anything of that nature. So fixed an issue causing territory influence to reset after an invasion. Okay, yeah, we've seen that before, where an evasion happens and the territory influence just goes down to zero, and it was kind of annoying for people who were, like, in the middle of farming that influence, and then all of a sudden, invasion just pops up and deletes all their progress. Like, that's really sad to see. Uh, fix an issue where players attempting to take a split amount of stacked items from a different settlement and their faction owns, they were charged for the entire cost in the stack. Yeah, we knew about this in our guild. Um, basically what was happening is if you took like half the stack, it would charge you for the full price no matter what. So one of our guild members found that out and we were like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? So everybody was just, uh, you know, either take the full stack or not. So hopefully that is actually fixed. I mean, they say here that it's fixed, but we'll see if it actually is before we start moving high value stuff. 
Uh, fix the game crash caused by player targeting another player with a healing effect at the exact moment they traveled or teleported away. Okay, that's a very small, like, you know, unique situation that probably won't happen to most people. Uh, fix an issue reducing variety and potential quantity of loot obtained from game modes and chests within the world. What? That's really major. Reduced variety. Okay, so right now my gear is at like 560 watermark, except for my gloves. They're stuck at 525. So I wonder if that's what it's talking about. Like some people have like one item that's just getting locked really low, really low down there, and and there's just nothing they can do about it. So um, maybe that's it. I don't know exactly what that means. We'd probably need some more information to really fully understand that. But hopefully that does fix that issue. And if there was any problem with people losing loot, oh, that sounds awful. Like, you know, I don't even want to think about that. I don't even want to think about that. Like, everybody, give me some free loot to make up for that. I don't know what it is. Um, so we'll move on to the next one. It looks like fixed an issue, uh, causing some crafting bonuses to not provide the minimum intended values. Yeah, that's big. Uh, people losing out on that. I do feel sorry for you. I did not craft many items myself as I've been focusing on the refining for the most part and also stone cutting, but stone cutting doesn't really have any like value ranges. You just make gems, right? So it doesn't really affect me at the moment, but I do feel bad for the people who were making items and that, uh, you know, happened to them. So next we have uh, fix an issue where overflow items and storage uh, transfer to a different territory. Interesting. Okay, so basically uh, we were getting to the point where people were just flooding different territory stashes with their items when you would like kind of hit that cap. Usually it happened when you had a bunch of things on the auction house and a bunch of weight came in and it tipped you over the scale, then things of that nature would happen. Fixed an issue where petting Barkimedes caused the camera to jitter. What? That's so random. Okay. Glad that's taken care of. <laughs> Fixed an issue where settlement storage can become massively overflowed by expired contracts. Okay. So does that mean you need to have storage space within your storage now to put stuff on the auction house? I hope not because that's going to make the auction house very hard to use. So we'll have to pay more attention to this one and see what that fully means here. Uh, fix an issue where player movement could stutter after becoming encumbered from logging. Yeah, I remember this. Um, basically, you would chop some trees and you would hit encumbered, but then you would still move at full speed and just your movement would be all messed up and jittery and stuff like that, but you could still run. So that was interesting. Uh, I'm glad they got rid of that. Uh, fix an issue where there were not enough chests at Hapless Homestead to fulfill faction mission uh, quest requirements. Yeah, I remember running across a couple of those quest where it was like oh yeah loot like seven chest items and then there's like three chests in the area and you're like so i guess i wait on the respawn or <laughs> what's happening here so that's kind of weird to see uh next we have fix an issue where players disappear if standing still when a campsite turret blueprint is being held okay so that was where you're placing down the campsite you're trying to build something in the area and then players would sort of vanish out that's a weird one Fix an issue uh, causing repeater turrets to appear as if they were firing projectiles at an angle when they did not align with the turret. So just a little visual bug, no worries there. Fix miscellaneous game crashes, that's always nice to see. I know a couple people had some game crashes around the corrupted portals and various like lighting changes within caves and stuff, so that's good to see that fixed. Fixed an issue for AI stuff now. It's a different category. Fixed an issue where Marsh Jaw respawns slower than intended at the Flatfish Fishery. I have no idea what that is, <laughs> but um, maybe it's an enemy. Maybe it's a fish. I'm not sure. If you know, comment down below if you know what that's talking about. Uh, Fixed an issue where certain bears uh, respawn faster than intended. Yep, I knew about that. That was the bear cave. You could force respawn on bears by like putting too many people in the area, it seemed like. Uh, and then they fix an issue causing twice the intended number of boars to spawn at boar's home POI. No, the boar farm is nerfed. Uh, okay, uh, we knew that was coming. Everybody was there and uh, it was interesting. It was fun while it lasted, um, but there is still the wolf farm and I'm pretty sure that one still works. So if you haven't seen that video, 
go check that one out. It's five levels higher and it will work perfectly for you. Um, so we'll take a look at the other stuff. Store fixes, uh, fix an issue where players could be promote or prompted to purchase an item they had previously started the unlocking process on in the in-game store when trying to unlock another item immediately after. So looks like some lag between purchasing and it recognizing which item that you have. So good that they're fixing that. Fix an issue causing store previews for skin to not work correctly when the player was actively wielding a weapon. Okay, so we had some visual bugs on that, because I know checking out how it's going to look is an important part before you buy it, for sure. So I'm glad that they went ahead and fixed that one. Uh, fixed an issue where the Righteous Guardian armor skin would not change color in war. Yeah, usually you have to have a blue and a red, so if that didn't change color, that probably would throw some people off. Um, fix an issue where the Runic Bear armor skin would not change color in war. Same thing. Fix an issue where incorrect poses when previewing store items. Uh, causing incorrect poses. Okay, so just very minor stuff. So nothing too much there um, in that section, but we got a lot of good fixes, like for some of these hyper spawn spots. And then also a lot of uh, issues with loot stuff. I'm glad to see that. Storage stuff and things of that nature. Oh, looks like I skipped over one. Uh, fixed an issue causing the ice pylon ability to not cool down appropriately. Oh, that's so good. That's actually so good. I can't believe I missed that. Because that was the big problem with mages. You put that pylon down and it would just lock up. Uh, but all in all... Bunch of great um, fixes here for a lot of bugs. I would still like to see more. I know there are many, many more to go. Um, I'm sure they're working hard on it and it will be coming up soon. But I do like to see this improvement upon the game. I didn't see anything about the Tier 5 Azos staff, so I'm wondering if that's intentional for now. We'll have to see what that does, but currently the Tier 5 A staff bu um, is uh, bugged. It will not let you unlock the level 65 portal, so no one can do portals in the game currently. So we'll have to see how that goes, and maybe we'll get some better fixes for that stuff coming up. All right, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and the bell button. We also have a join button for memberships. You get tons of cool badges and emojis specific for the channel and a cool Discord rank and a lot of other stuff. So make sure you check that one out. We also have a Discord where you can speak with like-minded New World players and keep up to date on all the greatest farms, gold tricks, uh, in-game content and things of that nature and especially you can reach out to me and ask me any questions you may have on there uh, that's pretty much it for now and we will catch you in the next video everyone